Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how the integration between Connector and Blender works. The latest release of Connector is the first version to provide initial support for Blender. But as development continues and users provide feedback, improvements will be made to make the integration with Blender as streamlined and as intuitive as possible. The integration currently allows users to save objects, materials, and collections from Blender to Connector, and an intuitive way of placing the assets you've saved to your library back into the Blender environment. Now I'm going to start out by showing how you can quickly append assets from Connector to Blender. And to demonstrate the functionality, I currently have my interface split with Connector here on the left and Blender here on the right. And here in Connector, I already have several assets saved to my library. And now I want to add them to the design that I've started here in Blender. And so I'm going to start out by dragging this furniture set here into the Blender environment. And you'll notice we get this context menu. Now by default, Blender comes with open, link, and append, but Connector adds three additional options to merge objects, collections, and materials. So let's go and select merge objects. Now you'll notice that it appends all of the objects from that file, but it also puts us in this placement mode where we can determine exactly where we want this asset to be positioned. So I'll go and left click right here, and that adds those objects, but you'll notice that the command is recursive, so we can continue to place as many assets as we like, or we can type escape or right click to cancel the command. So you can see that the merge objects command is very helpful if you want to merge all of the objects from a asset. But here, let's go ahead and drag in this center table configuration. And instead of merging all of the objects, let's select merge collections. Now here you'll notice that this dialog box opens and this displays all of the collections that are currently in that file. And so this allows us, if we just want to add the decorations from that, or maybe just one of the tables, you can determine exactly what assets you're going to append into this file. But for now, let's go ahead and just select the full table set and click OK. And just like the merge objects, that puts us in this placement mode where we can determine where we want this positioned. I'll go ahead and left click right here. And of course, the command is recursive. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and type escape to cancel the command. Now, one thing that's important to note here, if I select this side table configuration and append this to the file here and select merge collections. Now that file only had one collection available. And so rather than showing that dialog, we just automatically append that one collection to this file. And so now I can determine where I want this positioned and I'll left click right there and we'll go ahead and escape to cancel the command. So as you can see, the merge object and merge collection command makes it very quick and easy to lay out an entire scene. Now the last option that I want to show you is how we can merge materials into the file. And so here I have several materials saved to my library and we'll go ahead and just select one of these files. We'll drag this into the scene. We'll select merge materials and you'll notice that we're in this assignment mode now to where based on what object I have my cursor on, it's going to assign that material. So here we'll just go and select the floor and that automatically assigns that material. And so you can see that trying out different materials is very quick and very easy to do. But you'll notice here, if I want to assign a material to an object that has several materials, so say for example, this center table here, let's say we want to change out this black metal wiring to be polished chrome. So here we'll go ahead and drag this into the file, merge materials, and once we select on this table, it comes up with a dialog which allows us to determine exactly what material we want to replace. And so here I'll go ahead and replace the table stand. Click OK. And you'll notice that that just assigns that one material to this object. So as you can see, laying out a room with connector is fast and intuitive, as long as you have your assets saved to your library. So now let's take a look and see how easy it is to save your Blender assets to Connector. So here I have a room that I've started to design in Blender, but none of these assets are saved to my library. So I'm going to start out and select the sofa and one of these tables, and I'll right click. And as long as you have Connector installed, we'll have this additional menu at the bottom of the interface to where we can save objects, collections, and materials. So here we're going to start out by saving objects. And this opens up a dialog here. And these items in this box that are checked are going to be the assets that you're saving to your library. But we also have different options that we can assign to these assets. So here we have description, which is pretty self-explanatory. And here to the right, this icon here allows us to assign different tags to these assets. And this just really helps us keep the models organized and helps us find these assets later on in our library. So for now, I'll go ahead and select architecture and furniture. 
Here, this use template checkbox allows you to use a template for rendering out the thumbnail for these assets. And there's several different templates that ship with connector here. We have cycles with freestyle, which gives you a cycles rendering with freestyle, which kind of adds an outline around the asset, or you can do just a standard cycles rendering or a standard EV rendering. And for now, I'll just go ahead and choose cycles. Here, this auto hide previews checkbox will automatically hide the additional preview that's generated and assign it directly to the asset here in connector. So I typically leave that turned on. And these options at the bottom allow us to determine where we're gonna be saving this in our connector library here. And so this first dropdown will allow you to select the root folder. It's possible to have different root folders in connector. I currently only have one. And then with that root folder set there, we have the ability to select the different subfolders. And so for now, I'll go ahead and select the furniture folder. And here, this back arrow will go back one subdirectory, or you can use this up arrow to go all the way back to the main root directory. But for now, let's go ahead and just select furniture. And with those options set, we'll go ahead and click OK, and that will start the process to save the assets. And once the dialog closes, then the assets have been saved to the library here. And so we'll go ahead and select the furniture category. And we'll notice that we have two new assets saved to our library. You'll also notice that all the information that we assigned from the options will be listed down here. So we have the different tags that are automatically assigned. We've got a description. And if we wanted to, we can right click on the asset and view the gallery, which just shows us a larger thumbnail preview of that asset. Now it's important to know that the process of generating a thumbnail can take some time to complete, depending on the asset, the thumbnail template that you have selected, and the performance of your system. But the process of saving different assets is just as easy. So here if we, we'll keep the sofa selected, but we'll also select this rug here, and we'll right click, and this time let's go and save the materials from those assets. Now there's several different materials assigned to these assets, so for now let's go ahead and just save the carpet material and the light couch fabric. So we'll deselect these options here. And the only thing I'm gonna change here is I'm gonna go back one folder and just save this directly to my materials category. And then we'll click okay. All right, so now with that done, if we go to our materials category, we'll see that we have two new materials saved to our library here. So finally in the scene, what I wanna do is I wanna save some collections. So let's go and select these two side tables here. And we'll right click, select save collections. And so here, yeah, these are the two collections that we currently have selected. Here I'll go ahead and change my category to be the furniture category. And we'll go ahead and just click OK. All right, and with that done here, if we switch to our furniture category, now we have these two new collections saved to our library. So it's important to remember that this is just the beginning for the integration between Blender and Connector. We have many plans for the future, and are looking forward to hearing feedback from users. I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and we hope you enjoy using Connector with Blender.